Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a mixer. Jaspie's 11 Bach October Baseball Mixer. We got some October Baseball action happening right here on Fox Sports 1. The ALDS, the late game. Tampa Bay at Houston, tied at zero, top of the fourth. So still scoreless, still early. Big thanks to all of these folks who got into the action right here. We only sold 14 spots. We reserve one for the early bird. One spot gets you two teams. Now, it says here, the first 11 spots are entered to win a free spot in this break. The early bird can catch the worm. Robert Dunn James. So, let's copy your names. Let's get your names in here. Name on top gets the worm. Thanks, early birds. Five and a two after seven times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It's been a long week. I forgot the dice roll count. After seven, there you go. Patrick K. Congrats to you. Thanks for being the early bird. You have caught the worm, which is a bonus spot. All right, now. Let's copy these names here, and we'll set up this team list here. Once again, one spot gets you two teams, so let's double your names up. And now let's roll it and randomize it five and a two, seven times. One, two, is this seven again? Yeah, five, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Robert C. down to Chris R. Five and a two, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we got the Baltimore Orioles down to the Houston Astros. All right, so Robert with the Orioles. Patrick, you got the White Sox. Chris Berry with the Braves. Daniel, last spot Mojo, Rockies, and Padres. The X-Line with the Red Sox. Brian Crouch with the Yankees. Matt Stone with the Rays. The X-Line, Marlins, and Giants. Panagiatis with the Royals. Randy, A's and Angels. A-Team. X-Line, Mariners. Patrick K, Cardinals. Matt Stone, Brewers. Chris Berry, Twins. Brian with the uh, Rangers. James, you got my Dodgers. Robert with the Nationals. Patrick with your early bird spot, the Tigers. James with the Diamondbacks. Robert with the Mets. Cubs for Chris. Patrick K with the Pirates. Panagiotis with the Blue Jays. Patrick K with the Phillies. Robert with the Reds. Patrick, your other, <coughs> excuse me, your other, I'm losing my voice, your other last spot mojo spot, Cleveland Indians. Chris with the Astros. I stop reading these names. All right, any trades? Let's alphabetize by team. While you're thinking about trades, check this out. Here are the 11 boxes right here. We've got some tier one in here, 17, 18 stuff, a couple boxes of 19, some stadium club, a couple SIG series, chrome jumbo, greatest hits of the 90s, and we'll close out with that immaculate in the back. All right, so there are your boxes right there, all 11. I'm going to hit the pause button. We have that function now. And when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. We'll give people a few moments to trade. And we'll be right back and we'll let you know if anything went down. Welcome back, folks. We do have a trade. The trade window is now closed and we do have a trade. Patrick K. and the X-Line have traded Mariners Cardinals. So, Patrick, you now have the Mariners. We'll put a little T there to indicate trade. And the X-Line has his Cardinals, his PC team. Cardinals right there. We'll put a T next to there. So for those of you following along at home, we're going to see who draws first blood in that trade, if any. Sometimes both those teams go hitless. Or one person wins, the other person doesn't. Who knows? But that is the excitement of... That's the excitement of the trade. All right. Ooh, Jimmy wants a Bellinger out of that gold label.
All right, here is the final printout to make things official right there. Thanks for hanging with me on a Saturday night, folks. I always appreciate that. I always feel like everyone's out and about on Saturday, but I, I, I appreciate the people who are, took a little bit of their Saturday night out for us. All right. Um, what do I want to start with? I think we'll go, should we go old school? Yeah, let's go back in time. Let's go back to the 90s. Going back to the 90s. And apologies if I sound like I'm talking with marbles in my mouth. I have a lozenge in my mouth. All right. So you're like, why is Joe mumbling? Why is he talking like the way Ariana Grande sings? All right. This was kind of a, a, a an interesting set. I think these guys bought this entire collection and then repacked it somehow, but... These finest cards that they have in there carry a lot of weight too, some good value on a secondary market, so don't sleep on those when you get those, if you get any of those. There's a sandwich wrapper, the Jimmy John sandwich wrapper. There you go, we'll give them a free plug. Got a few encased cards here. Let's do these guys first. So we've got Harold Baines Orioles edition. No, I don't remember Harold Baines Orioles edition, but there he is. Must be true. That obviously goes to Robert and the O's. And we got for the Blue Jays, Roberto Alomar. And these are promotional sample cards. Uh, Blue Jays, that'll be for Panagiatis, for the Bluebirds. Don Manningling, Yankees. That will be for Brian Crouch. And we got Rangers, Nolan Ryan for Brian Crouch. There you go, Brian. No. Magnets. And we've got Reggie Sanders. I when's the last time you guys thought about Reggie Sanders? For the Reds. That will be for Robert. And we have a Yankee, Mike Lowell. Yankees edition. For Brian Crouch, and looks like another Yankee. It's Paul O'Neill, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Woo! Bregman launched that towards the train. Gone. Solo shot. Astros up one nothing. All right, now from the '90s, we're gonna go. We're gonna flash forward to 2016. Donruss Optic Baseball. Oh, that was tattooed. All right. That's what we're looking for here. Could be a hot box. Otherwise, there'll be two autographs per box on average. Plus all the fun optic parallels. Good luck, everybody. Is Bregman your AL MVP? I mean, Trout still put up pretty darn good numbers, even for missing, like, the last month of the season. But We need more Mike Trout. Come on, Angels. We need more Mike Trout showcase in playoff games.
The Yankees beat the Twins today pretty comfortably. The Dodgers playing tomorrow, along with the Braves and Cardinals. Second box of the break. Good luck, everybody. We've got Hector Oliveira, rated rookie to 299. Adrian Beltre. Just in the interest of time, we're going to breeze by these, but our shipping team will sleeve, top load, and ooh, five out of five before they get sorted. Nice Elias Diaz, rated rookie auto green. Patrick K getting randomized to Pittsburgh Pirates. Train whistle out of the second box. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. There's Devers to 149. Is this a parallel hot box? Brendan Rogers to 149. Seems like it. Yeah, I think so. Strasburg to 199. What a start for him against my Dodgers yesterday. Back to the Future, Josh Donaldson to 149. And we've got, we've got a little variation there, Carlos Correa, Todd Frazier to 50. Tyler Duffy for the Twins, 149. David Wright, Mets to 99. Socrates Brito to 199. Joannis Cespedes to 99. Mets. Edgar Martinez, Masters of the Game to 149 for the Mariners. Chris Davis to 299 for the Orioles. There's Mike Trout and Todd Helton. Nice. That's a good autograph, too. Look at how nice that penmanship is. Todd Helton. Significant signatures. Daniel Festervin got randomized. The Rockies' last spot mojo. Ma Masters of the game. <laughs> Excuse me. To 99, Juan Gon Gonzalez. Justin Upton. To 99. His Detroit edition. Sal Perez, Kansas City to 299. Mikhail Franco to 99 for the Phillies. Cole Hamels, Rangers edition to 299. Michael Conforto, rated rookie to 299 for the Mets. All right. That was 2016 Donruss Optic Baseball. Let's jump to 2000, I think 17 is next. Gold Label Baseball. You know, here, one framed auto per box. That's the frame auto right there. And then I think there's only one 2018 box. That's the tier one right in the center of your screen. And then it's just all 2019 after that. Aaron Judge, rookie Aaron Judge. Ken Griffey Jr. to 150. Gary Sanchez. Hank Aaron, nice. Bellinger rookie as well. We'll set those two aside. The Bellinger and the Aaron Judge. 
still carry some pretty solid value there. Bautista to 99, Blue Jays edition, and Ioannis Cespedes. Chris Sale right there, and behind too low. The frame is for the Padres. Rookie Auto Hunter Renfro. So nice one. Yeah, I think only veteran commons don't ship, Jimmy. Everything else ships. So that. I just wanted to set that, set that Bellinger aside because those rookie cards still carry some some solid value. But yeah, all every anything tagged RC will ship. Any inserts will ship. Variations will ship. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. All right, um, 2018. Let's go tier one baseball right here. Then we'll rock through all the 2019 stuff. I think we're gonna close out with these two Sig series and then Immaculate. And then we'll go Stadium Club, Prism, Finest, Tops, Chrome, Archive, something like that. We'll do the base heavier stuff first. All right, so now we're 2018. All right, so right out of the gate, we've got Brian Dozier. 32 out of 285. Nice tier one Dozier. Twins, Chris Berry. Everyone loves Brian Dozier, right? I think uh, he's... During his stint with the Dodgers, I know everybody on the Dodgers liked him a lot. Good teammate, good dude. Fans like him. Out of 220, uh, 275, that is. 10 out of 275, Max Freed, rookie autograph for Chris Berry and the Braves. And the relic right there is Joey Gallo. Two twenty-two out of three thirty-five Rangers. That's going to be for Brian Crouch. Jimmy hated his walk-up music, though. Always some weird country jam. I think he's a he's a country dude, isn't he? I forget where he's from. Is he from like Georgia or something like that? Wait, are you from LA, Jimmy? Where's he from? Yeah, he's from Tupelo, Mississippi. Born in Fulton. Mississippi. Fulton, Mississippi. Yeah. Oh, you are. Nice. Well, you gotta come visit our shop then, Jimmy. Pasadena? Oh, man. You're real close. We, we've got a 3,000 square foot shop that we're just finishing up, Jimmy. Once we're once we're done building it out, you got to come and stop by. Got a little dirt on my boots. Was his walk up? Says Mark Adamson. Yeah, you should. Buddy. Good luck. So now we're in 2019. Uh, that's Stadium Club Baseball. So nice Stadium Club Baseball. Maybe some Prism after that. Tops Chrome, then Finest, then Archive. Oh, maybe this break's going to go a little, bit, a little bit faster than I thought it would. 
And we'll have more time for other stuff. Cam, what's going on? Quick question. Where and when will your new shop open? Where, I can tell you right now, we are at Pier Avenue and PCH in Hermosa Beach. We're right across the street from the Chipotle and the Union West Bank. 3,000 square feet of hobby goodness. We've got a card bar. We've got four TVs that are above it. I was here the other weekend watching Sunday, Sunday football a couple weekends ago. Direct TV, all the games. When is a, that's the trickier question. For those of you, any of you who have been in business before, we've opened up a shop or a restaurant or whatever, you guys know that sometimes it, uh, it takes a little time. There's always delays. So we wanted this open like a month ago, but a couple months ago, but we're getting there though. Just finishing up a little bit of construction and stuff around here and got to stock everything and then we'll be there. Yes, Hermosa Beach, California. There is Adalis Garcia, Cardinals, Josh Xline, drawing first blood in the trade. Now, I'm not going to encourage people to, four out of 50, to come to the shop just for us, unless you're local like Jimmy. Um, but if you find yourself in, Cal in Southern California, ladies and gentlemen, let's say you're taking the family to Disneyland or... You know, you got family in this area, blah, blah, you know, and you're visiting fam. You know, carve out a few hours for us. I think that would be nice. Check out, check out, especially if you're, you've been a regular with us. It'd be, I think it'd be worth it. Just put faces to names and whatnot. Nice Vlad Guerrero Jr. It'll be a lot of fun. Love the photography in Stadium Club. Always strong. Oh, that's right. You're in Santa Monica. Um, I mean, yeah, you could technically... In fact, both Jimmy and Cam, I would come by, like during business hours, come by and, just, like, if you're in the area, like, come by and poke your head in just so you guys can get, like, a, a, a good contrast of, oh, I saw it when it was kind of empty and there's like ladders and tools all over the place and then see it when we get it all done so you can see like the the contrast there I think that'd be cool so if you're in the, if you're in the South Bay you know pop your head in if you can but yeah by Christmas for sure I mean I did like we're ho we're we're targeting like a few weeks two 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 or three more weeks to get everything squared away Nice black foil Usai. But yeah, we're, sorry, a little blurry there. We're very excited about it. There's our second, nice, second autograph, Ozzy Albies. Chris Berry with the Braves. But anyway, yeah, the I, the idea for our store is less less card shops, I guess, for when most of you may remember card shops as something else. We want to we're kind of putting like a sort of a I don't know how to put it, like a modern a modern spin on on a on card shop. We want this to be like a lot of times back in the day, you just go to a shop, you buy a box, you wrap with the guy behind the counter for a minute or two, and then you're out, right? We want this to be more of like a, hey, kind of hang out. You can spend maybe a few hours here, you know, where you can spend a little bit of quality time here. Watch the breaks. Got a little studio window right here. Watch the breaks. We have a big monitor that's sitting right outside my door on the other side where it broadcasts this channel. So you can watch from outside, hang out. We've got 
arcade games, pinball machines, you know, um, the card bar with the four TVs up there where you can watch sports and chill. We got some nice Wi-Fi. You can join breaks. For, bring your laptop, like, like a coffee shop. Bring your laptop and hang out and join breaks and watch TV and watch sports and all that sort of stuff. So that's that's the sort of vibe that we're trying to trying to go for. Uh, hi, Andrew. I don't know what has has had momentum. The mixer had momentum. We got it done. <laughs> But I don't see any orders actually since we filled the mixer. I'm sure everyone will have an opinion on what they what break they want to see next. Archive Sig series, NT. I think those are always popular choices. More gridiron gems. Nice Roberto Clemente box topper for the Pirates. That'll be for Patrick K. Okay, now let's get into some Panini Baseball 2019 Panini Prism. I have heard of the bullpen. They're um, they're closer to the airport. They're probably about 20 minutes north of us. But I think we intend to be because bullpen has definitely has their footprint in this area, and they and they do what they do. And I think the core of our business will will all will still be this, so the shop vibe will be a little bit will be a little different. We'll carry boxes too, like individual boxes and stuff like that. But yeah, I think I think both both shops can exist can coexist in the same uh, kind of space. We offer different things, I think. There's a shop near Jimmy um, that you might have, I think, um, I think Hall of Fame in, uh, in Arcadia. Jimmy, have you been there? I know the guy there. Eric's really nice. His dad opened the shop and he's kind of been taking it, has taken it over over the last few years. Ooh, hey, hey. Congrats, Rex. All right. 2019 Prism. Good luck. I think I may need more regular top loaders here. Oh, Cam, you know, you've never been, Jimmy? You know, I've never been to, I've ran into the guy, I forget his name, from Burbank Sports. He's pretty cool. Cam, you know Eric. Yeah, Eric's, Eric's really cool. You should go visit, Jimmy. Tell, tell him Jaspie sent you. Sent, yeah. He's a nice guy. It's a small little shop, but it's been around in that area for a long time. Like, I want to say for like decades, right, Cam? Out of 150, Nick Cufo. I want to say they've been there for decades. They, they've like, they've outlasted like every sort of up and down. There's Steven Gonsalves. Yep, that's right, Liam. Old Dodger Films guy Bobby goes there. Yeah, from like '78, right, Cam? Yeah, so they've been around for a while. I visited, I visited his shop not too long earlier this summer, just to hang out and rap about the hobby a little bit. But he's a nice dude. Always says hi to us at events. Like he's like the first one that always comes up to us, and he's like, "Hey, Jaspie, what's going on, guys?" Super nice dude. It's Jeff McNeil. Ooh, that's right. They added these, like, exotic prints. 
in these uh, in this prism this year, which I like. It's the zebra. They got snake skin in here too, I think. Wade Davis at 299. White Sox or Rockies that is. Oh, he did. Nice. I've been encouraging him to, or when I visit, I encourage him to do more stuff online. Daniel saying Jaspies is famous. Panini posted design on this. Nice. There's Javier Guerra, 43 out of 50. San Diego. James and Tyon to 50. Um, Monday night. No, I mean not specifically. I think I I think I was just like, listen, like, we you know you kind of have to modernize, you know, kind of attract a different set of buyers. You know, you can't just rely on the walk-ins anymore, you know? There's Ryan McMahon. People consume media differently. Um, we're going to take over the world, Daniel Garrett. Um, so I just encourage you. Just gotta just, he, he's like, well, he, he struggled with, it's like, he's like, I watch you guys every night. You guys are crushing it. And it's like, well, you know, when, when I started, when Nick and I started doing this five years ago, you know, there were nights where, where we would be lucky to sell out one break, one mixer, you know? And we'd be sitting on air for like five, six hours a night where there'd be, there's 57 people with half the people, a quarter of the people watching, you know, and, but we just grinded every day. And I was just like, you got to start with something small at the very least, you know, what, what, what could be, what, how bad could it be? Like, cause I was there in the afternoon on a summer summer day like a Monday or something like that there's Andre Doss and three nine it's like it's like what, what are you doing the last two hours of work how many people are walking in buying a box of cards or something like that and he's like I don't know you know and I was just like listen well, it couldn't hurt to go on go online go on air hang out online for a couple hours you're gonna be here anyway if you sell a hundred dollar box or two here and there there you go that's it's a success I think there's Ryan Baruki for the Blue Jays. And if you do that more, then you'll just get used to being online more. And just build like a little audience. So, good. Well, I'm glad. I, I think he did mention, I think he texted me the other day or before one of the industry conferences and he was texting me. He was like, hey, we started doing some stuff. Seems like it's going well. So it's good to hear I think if hobby shops kind of have to to stick together, there's Roddy Tellez 399. I think that just creates a more powerful block, if you will, B L O C, not like a block building block, but like a a coalition, if you will. And if we're all on the same page about certain stuff, then. Maybe in the long run, you get get more product, get more the companies thinking about servicing group breakers and whatnot. So that's the idea, anyway. I don't know. At the end of the day, we're for profit business. We want to make make that money and have fun at the same time. So as long as we're all having that. All right, Cam. I'll see you. Um, tell Eric I said hi. Tyler O'Neill out of 199. And then Cam, you got to come visit us too. Now you'll have another hobby shop to go and spend money at. 
David Fletcher, Yalich, Trevor Williams at 299. And that's the end of 2019. Prism. I guess this break's going a little bit faster than I thought. Uh, thanks, Cam. Uh, let's see. What's the next box? I did Prism. Let's go. I guess we'll just do this. I hear five autographs in here. Maybe we'll do this first. Finest first. Two chrome autographs, and then we'll go through five autographs, and then archives with Kershaw on the front, and then we'll close with that immaculate baseball. Be some interesting, interestingness there too. Vanilla Grill says we need some shops in Atlanta. I feel like I feel like we have a lot of customers that hail from Georgia. I feel like collecting still happens a lot there, but no shops? Oh, Dan, you're not that far. San Diego, I mean, compared to some of the other guys and girls that watch, but you should stop by too. Like I said, you know, like, you know, like if you want, I mean, if you want to make a, a day out of it just for us, that'd be cool. But I mean, I don't know, make a make a day trip out of it. Be like, oh, I want to go to this spot, this spot, this spot, you know, and put us on the on the itinerary, a little road trip. Smooth says very few, not many. Says Vanilla Grill, a few, a couple, a couple far between. Only one that's recommended on Tops website in Georgia. Hmm. I think every. It, it's surprising when we go to these industry conferences and summits and whatnot at how many, how many hobby shops are still kind of, still kind of old school. You know what I mean? I guess there's nothing wrong with that, but, but I mean, there's so much. There can be so much animosity towards like group breakers like us. You know, which is understandable. I think we have, because of the boss man who's been in the industry for so long in between Tops and Upper Deck and Beckett and whatnot, like we, we, me and Nick and, and, and Mike, the boss man, are able to kind of blend both worlds together. So we're both a little, we gotta still have an, our old school vibe, but then we kind of do this new school group breaking nonsense, right? This craziness. So. So if you want, there's like a, there's a little article right there. So we try to bring both of those vibes together and do that. I think all the hobby shops around the country should really do some element of an online stream or a group break or something like that. It's good for the industry. More stuff gets sold overall. You know, keeps everybody in business. I know there's there's, 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 we do like to joke around. I mean, obviously there is still some competition, you know, but I'm about, not, not necessarily about the slice, the size of the slice of the pie just yet. I'm more concerned about why not grow the size of the pie in general. Brandon Crawford. The stuff's very pricey where? Here? Jaspies? I see what you're trying to do, Logan. Jorge Posada, 33 out of 50. Yankees, nice. That is for Brian Crouch. Tuki Toussaint, rookie autograph, Braves. That will be for Chris Berry. You want to buy Jaspi stock? I don't think we'll ever go public, Vanilla Gorilla, because we want to keep that money. Are we giving it to shareholders? Then, you, then we'll have to make reports to you guys, and then, and then everyone will have an opinion about how things should be run, and blah 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 blah. We don't want that. What a hassle. Smooth. I bought into a definitive break. Your first group break with us. With this group. 
I have no idea. Actually, I hope tonight, but we break seven nights a week, so we're pretty we're pretty low key about how we push our breaks because eventually they'll all sell. Um. Well, I break until eight o'clock or ten o'clock Pacific tonight, and it's almost eight o'clock Pacific. We got a couple hours. How many teams are left? Eight teams left. I feel like we can knock out eight, you guys, right? The last box of that of that break. But that, that's the one thing we would like to try to figure out smooth is try to figure out a way to, if we're able to pre, that's why you see us do a little more pre-orders and stuff too. We're kind of testing that out to see if, if we could possibly get, if we get more pre-orders going, then we can schedule some more breaks and that might be a little more helpful. But as of now, it's still kind of a spontaneous affair smooth. So um, it's just... Whenever it sells out, we'll do it, kind of thing. Which I know at first, the, a lot of the regulars kind of get it, so they're, they're able to kind of check in and out. But I feel like what a lot of people do is, you know, just keep an eye on the website. You know, just look on your phone whenever you're out and about, jazbeescasebreak.com, and be like, oh, spots left, that's two left. You know, that's probably pretty close. And you can kind of time it and then pop into, pop into the room. I know a lot of people who, a lot of people watch this kind of keep, turn us on and just kind of keep us on the background like, like it's radio or TV or something like that while they're doing, you know, chores or work or whatever. And they'll kind of hear me say, it's like, oh, three teams left. And then they'll, that's when they'll, they'll like, oh, okay, now I can pay attention and, and see if that break goes off. So I feel like that's how, that's how the, the kids do it. Oh, I see. I see, Logan. So you're saying your stores here hate breakers, yet they do them too, but they're expensive. I mean, obviously I'm biased, but I don't know how else you do it. I can't imagine just opening up a shop and then just waiting for people to walk through the door. You know? And try to buy like $700 immaculate, or that's not $700, but like three $400 immaculate boxes. It's already expensive enough, you know, but just to, I don't know. I think there's a little bit of a different business model happening here. And so you do Vanilla Grill, you keep us on, kind of listen to the background. <laughs> Turn Joe down. All right. So that. Five autographs is what we should expect here. Good luck, everybody. Can we save these Eloy rookies? Sure. Freshman Fabric, Cedric Mullins. Purple. No, not purple. Just yeah, that'll, that'll ship. That's an answer. It'll ship. Cunha Jr. I like that guy. And remember how wild Sapphire Edition is of this Topps Chrome stuff? I think we're getting more next week. And a Jacob Nix, rookie autograph for the Friars, Daniel, last spot mojo. Tucker scores easily from first, he was running. Maldonado's at least on second. They have it just at least one run, and it's at least two to nothing right now for the Astros. And then they get out two to hit into a double play. And the only way they turn is he hits the ball exactly perfect to the shortstop, going to the bag. And he barely gets, and Adamas barely throws out all two to and if you're playing in because there's runners on second and third, that's a big hit. Zusai. Imagine if you didn't win this series. You know, and Kyle Tucker, who I think is in this game. I think his first playoff start for the youngster. That's for Chris Randone. That's out of 99. Oh, that's why they keep showing the the ball boy in the field. It hit the it hit the kid's stool that he's sitting on. I see. Interesting. Sean Manea. Hmm. 
That's the that's the case for that's the case for uh, net. I'd rather not have them, but man, in this day and age, you got to have those nets. That's only like what, 150 feet away, and he just barely got out of the way. So what's some kid staring at his phone in the infield? They're gonna get hit in the head. Nice, Future Stars, Fran Miller Reyes autograph, nice. Cool insert auto. Twenty eight out of ninety nine. Nice Fernando Tatis Junior, Lourdes Guriel. Got him. This game's pretty close though. It's, Houston's only up by a run. Top of the sixth. Rays are running out of opportunities though. So obviously that'll ship too. There's Thomas Panone, Bluebirds, Panagiatis with that one. And we got little Dodger Joe Mojo, Dennis Santana. You might see in rotation, bullpen maybe next year. Kind of a high, high K guy, high strikeout guy. That goes to James and the Dodgers. Vlad Guerrero Jr. And Sean Reed Foley is our final autograph for Panagiatis and the Blue Jays. couple encased cards coming up this is active player edition we've got retired player edition in the store right now jaskies casebreaks.com who does everyone have for uh, my Dodgers tomorrow what do you guys think uh, the Nationals have not announced a starter yet but Hyunjin Root who's had a pretty fantastic season possible Cy Young candidate right there for the NL Engine Roos taking the mound on the road. Game three. The autograph is Ryan McMahon. 24 out of 63. Mark Adams said, my twins aren't going anywhere. So I say Dodgers 6-1. Thank you. That'd be nice. Nice comfortable win would be nice. I th I have, it's the makings of a good series, though. Walker Bueller shut down the Nationals game one. Dodgers bats are alive. And then Strasburg and Scherzer, and those guys shut down the Dodgers. In game two, tied 1-1 one -one in a five-game series. So 
Next up is Travis Shaw. Eight out of 39, Brew Crew. Matt Stone with the Brewers. All right, and the last box, the 11th box of this 11 box October baseball baseball mixer. Good luck, this immaculate baseball has been pretty hot, so let's see what we close out with. Ooh, a plate on the bottom, a little splash of blue, a lot of blue teams. All right. Yes. Yeah, Topps Chrome Jumbo. That was the five auto one. We just did that. Blank card right here. We've got Eugenio Suarez, 27 out of 49 piece of his lumber. For the red legs, that's gonna go to Robert Myhill. We're gonna close with a train whistle, ladies and gentlemen. There's a plate on the bottom. We got 29 out of 49, Victor Robles. Looks like maybe a Piece of a batting glove there, Robert. Robert C. with the Nats, Immaculate Swatches. We've got Mookie Betts, 3 out of 25. Red Sox, that goes to Josh Xline. This one's on a little bit thicker cardstock here, too. And we got, ooh, Colby Allard. Got a, got a, got a button. Got a two-color patch right there. His nice on-card autograph. Three out of ten. Still Braves edition on this one. Chris Berry with the Braves. Although I feel like he's been playing pretty well for he got traded to the Rangers. He's doing all right with the Rangers. And we got, wow, a one of one Garrett Hampson. Dual relic, laundry tag, autograph, one of one. Daniel Festervin, Colorado Rockies, last spot mojo. Two train whistles to end this mixer. I kind of want to take his autograph and then stretch it out a little bit. This one, it's nice, but I just need it to be a little bit larger. Fill up the canvas next time, Garrett. There you go, Rockies, Daniel, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And the final one is going to be, wow. George Brett, one of one. Two color patch and autograph. That's for Panagiatis and the Royals. That's nice. What a way to end the 11 box October baseball mixer. Thanks for watching everybody. And Panagiot is all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! And there you go. That's the way to end it with a couple train whistles. Thanks everybody. We'll see you next time at jazbeescasebreaks.com.